Hello. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Abby with Abby Reviews. <sighs> we back y'all. This week is uh Chase in LA, season two, episode seven. Um housekeeping notes. I feel like trash. I'm struggling. But I wanna get this review, Petty Mike review out before the Queen's Corner tonight. So Naked face did it all head on a thousand because my braider braided my brains into these damn braids on my head. But that's neither here nor there. The hair is luxurious, it'll be taken down so y'all can ooh and eye at it later. Uh, let's jump into the foolishness of the episode, shall we? <laughs> I heard tell this gonna be bullshit. Let's go. Okay, so we start back at we at King Payne's ten thousand ten K party and Shayla is going to perform her new song, Song Cry. The song sounds really good. Yep. The song it sounds real cute. It sounds real cute. I've I don't know how many I need her to work on her performance um, presence her, per, her presence when she performs and to be nice I'm going to leave it right there I've already listened I've done too much in the last couple of weeks I'm trying to amen We oh, alright Okay, next up to perform is William and Finley performing their song Cup. Um, now, I don't know. I can't speak to William and his lyricism and his flow. But that Finley baby show can sing. I don't care what nobody say. I don't care how much you don't like William. I, that Finley baby can sing. He can sing now. Um then we get King Payne who goes up and does his first stand-up comedy routine. Congratulations and yes for stretching out. Stretch out. Walk on faith. If you think you can do it, you think you got it, get your nerves out and go and do it, beloved. Congratulations. Um, the way they edited it, I didn't, I feel like we didn't get, like it was cut weird to where we didn't get the full jokes like we like we got like the beginning but not the punchline you know what i'm saying so i couldn't really tell how successful it was but i do applaud him for taking a step out on faith so we gonna move right along okay so we then go to jeremy who is we with jeremy and andre they go into this fashion house because jeremy is walking in this ball i can't remember what the category is and he and Andre are having conversation. Andre opens up about the sore spot of his mother being missing because she passed away. And like he's tender because it's her birthday. I understand wholeheartedly. I'm in the same. I literally am in the same position right now. So I, I get wholeheartedly. Andre, you're not finna make me cry because I'm a thug and I'm not doing it. Okay. All right. My eyes may be a little watery, but I'm not. I'm not finna cry. Not going to do it. So then we get to. Um, Jeremy talk about he's the emperor for the gorgeous house of Gucci and he's the father of the house of Juicy Couture that makes with him being the house father for the house of Juicy Couture who just won legendary because they that makes so much sense to me that makes so much sense that that makes so listen they were my pick to win from the beginning of the last season of Legendary. So him being the house father of Juicy Couture on the Kiki. Okay, that makes you better do it, sir. Oh, you better do it. And then they show us Jeremy actually walking in the headpiece in the shoulder piece that in the in the uh cape that he put giving all of you better serve the face and the and the fit sir who clearly won shout out to the fa the emperor of the gorgeous house of gucci mr jeremy copeland wonderful job beloved now we finna get to this trip where she had finna go left i guess i gave us a happy first 15 minutes because it's about to go. 
All right, so we're in Palm Springs. Andre and Ian, who are the hosts, are the first to arrive, and they're starting to make. They having a tequila and taco welcoming situation for the first evening. They're talking about who's going to be there and who's not. Um, Jeremy, William. I think are the only two who are not going to be there. I think those are the only two, but Jayla, King Payne, Rich Bomb. Poetic will be there the day after. Um, he's going to arrive late, but he's still coming. Um, what's this baby's name? Nicole. Um, um, Nicole Rich Bomb, Hershey, King Painted Jayla. My eyes are burning. Um, are, go, are all coming. So, um, Nicole is the first to arrive and Nicole is asking questions like, who all did you invite? First of all, the first thing she said was, let me see what my money bought me. Okay. I'm going to let, I'm not even going to let you have that because it was your, you put in your money just like everybody else put in their money for this Airbnb. And you said it wasn't your first choice, but you're with the group. So I guess you got outvoted. Then you are talking to Ian and Andre and Andre is trying to get to the bottom of what is the issue with you and Nicole? Cause you don't even know her. Talk, and then it was like, she was, and she was like, who's Jayla? She said, they said Jayla. She's like, who, who? And, and Ian was of course trying to, do the association so she can get who they talking about and he said you remember the one who you said was at the dollar tree and she was like oh dollar tree you should have said that once again this is a lot for somebody that you do not know and should not and there should not be so andre is trying to say listen you shouldn't have said that and she was like why she's like because that you talking about uh someone else not being friendly to you but you aren't being friendly to her and I've been saying this over and over again. This has been a recurring theme this season. If you want friends, you must show first show yourself to be friendly. And you can't fun shade with a stranger. That is not how that works. That's not fun shade. That's you being rude. Just what it is. I don't care how you try and frame it. I don't care how you try and dress it up. I don't care what you say. You cannot fun shade someone that you do not know. That is not how that works. It just isn't. It's just you being rude and nasty to a stranger that you don't know for no good reason. This is already finna go left because Nicole is giving a lot of excuses for the fact that she is shady. All right, so Nicole is giving very much what I call nice nasty. They showed an unaired portion of last week's episode where Nicole said that she would uh pay for Jayla's trip portion of the trip to come to Palm Springs talk about some well I do charity work and she's never at any of the events so if it's a coin issue you know I'll take care of it so she can actually be at an event again this is a lot for somebody that you don't know it that it's a, it's a lot it's it's a lot you didn't have to do that. You didn't have to volunteer to pay for anybody's anything. Once again, it's giving very nice, nasty, very unhospitable, very shady. I, it just is what it is. I know the ladies like to give very much. Oh, they edited me a certain way. Oh, I, it was taken out of context. I didn't say it like this, like that. However, they can't edit anything that you do not say. Hmm. They can't edit anything unless you said it, baby. And you said that. And it was nasty. You didn't have to do that. That's all I'm saying. You you just didn't have to. Um in this little tete a tete conversation happening, I'm squarely on Team Andre. Like, beloved, you did the most when none of it had anything to do with you. You didn't have to say anything. You could have just sat there and been quiet. That's what you could have done. But that's not what you decided to do. And now you're reaping the harvest that you sown. Because you couldn't keep your mouth closed when it had absolutely nothing. And I feel like you feel like you 
you should be able to say anything that you want in any manner that you want and nobody is able to say anything to you about what you said like it's just supposed to be okay because it's you the one who said it oh listen i maybe should have took some advil before i did this because i think the pain is making me mean i tried to be, listen I said I wouldn't go go too far because I went too far last week. I'm a hush. Rich bomb has arrived. We gonna see what happens. Okay, so uh, Nicole and Rich bomb. Nicole is trying to catch Rich bomb up on the conversation between Andre, Nicole, and Ian about Jayla. Nicole is swear for out that the comment that she made about the Dollar Tree wasn't mean. It was not only mean, it was mean spirited. Just what it it just is what it is. Um, so they decide to come on down. Hershey has arrived. First of all, Hershey is me. Cause he be outside dear right now in the name of Jesus. God, listen. I'm here. I done paid my deposit. Please, Jesus. Listen, I just listen, God, I petition you for this to be all right. Because I cannot get my money back So everybody is Okay for now They've all met for dinner Everybody's sitting down They're eating their tacos They're having a conversation about William And how um, He doesn't seem to willing to have an open honest conversation About how he presents um, And how he comes off to People of color So they trying to excommunicate him from the group, I guess. And now Ian, Ian is going to get the door. And I'm assuming it's going to be King Payne and Jayla. And for the last 20 minutes of this video, shit finna go downhill. I'm here for it. Let's get into it. Okay, so shout out to Andre and King Payne acting like they got sense here at the Palm Springs. Also, shout out to King Payne because when I say his confessional, I screamed out loud. <laughs> cackled you hear me a cackle um so that's all fine and dandy rich bomb is like you don't say shit to me i'll say shit to you cool that speaks to my scorpio spirit <sighs> now for jayla and miss nicole and jayla says you know i just want to sit down and have a conversation with you you know it's just so we can then she i feel like she just wants to clear the air She's like, I felt like I thought I was going to come in here. Like, oh, I'm going to have to check a bitch, blah, blah, blah. But I didn't even want to do all of that. She's so, like, Nicole seems to be upset that the things that she said got to the person that she said them about. I don't, I don't, this, that's where, the, I, the, this is where you lost me, beloved. Uh, you know, you lost me a while ago, but still. Um, just like I knew I don't even want to bring this up. But just like I knew last week when I went left on that panel. Before I even finished going left, I said the person that I was talking about was going to cuss me out. And I was prepared for it. You know why? Because I, but, but, and, and before I take anything that I said back, I'm going to double down on it. I expected it to get back to him. Absolutely. I said, you said it in a public setting in front of people they, they know. Why do you think that you are immune from your words getting back to the people who said, especially when you said things in front of people that she is in right standing with? So if somebody is talking mad trash about you every time you're not present and in front of people that you are in right standing with, you don't want them to say anything to you about what's being said. Is that what you're saying? Because I don't think that's what you want to say. And I don't think that's how you feel. I feel like you expect your friends to come back and tell you if anybody is saying something. Matter of fact, I think you expect your friends to speak to immediately any disrespect being given towards you at the time it's being done. Because those are my expectations. If you, my, if, if you, me and you is friends. You can't speak down on my friends in my presence. You might get cussed out and or smacked in the mouth fooling with me and talk about my friends. It just is what it is. Not Nicole is now in her feelings because Jayla said to her and rightly so, please don't talk about me 
if I'm not present when you don't know me? That's a reasonable request, love. It just is. It just is what it is. But now you got an attitude because somebody done came and called you on your foolishness. I don't. Okay. Uh, Nicole. I've tried to hold judgment because you said some things and I tried to take things into consideration. I'm looking at this. If there's a a fight about to jump off because I still got four minutes left, it's all your fault. This girl said to you two, three times, she said, listen, I was mad. I may have said a couple of things about you because some things was brought to me. She said, um... I was upset and rightfully so because uh, my aces were bringing back information about you talking about me when you've never even met me. You don't know me. And now you up here calling this girl a liar because you don't understand how surgery and recovery works. She flew down to Miami. She flew back for her recovery. And so because she's still in recovery, she couldn't come to the event. The end. And regardless of why she wasn't there, none of your business. Absolutely none of your business, beloved. And this girl said to you several times, listen, let's just clean the slate. You said some stuff. I said some stuff. Let's let bygones be gone. I want to be cool with you. I think you're beautiful. I think you're an entrepreneur. We can be sisters. All of those things. But you don't want to do that. You don't want you clearly want problems. You want problems always is what it looks like. It's giving your messy. It's give it's very it's very much giving your messy. It's very much giving your nice nasty, like I said. It's giving very mean girls. I'm Regina George and you won't be one of my Again, how you gonna put somebody out of a group that you barely in yourself? Come on now. Now it has really devolved. And Jayla's calling her an old lady. Nicole is calling Jayla a prostitute. Where did that come from? Is that your go to? Is she a hoe? She's a prostitute? Hmm. How did we get here? Nobody's supposed to be here. Because this don't make no damn sense. None at all. So are you under the impression that she only had one surgery? Is that the impression that you're under? Not that it's any of your business. That girl says she had multiple surgeries. So again, none of your business. How do we get to prostitute? I'm still stuck on prostitute. Well, how do we get there? How do... Okay. I would just like to say I am Hershey and Hershey is me Uh because this has nothing to do with me. So I'm going to sit here and drink my drink and eat these nachos with this guacamole and God bless it because I don't know what to tell you niggas. It's got nothing to do with me. That's how the episode ended. Uh, More foolishness is coming next week. We're going to like, comment and subscribe. And Nicole keeps saying, oh, she want a moment because she's a prostitute. Uh, We don't shame sex work. Sex work is work. She gets a check. Everybody that works gets paid. I don't understand. What that post? Okay. I'm going to hold my peace. Because people like to get upset when I go left. But this has been my review and recap. For Chasing LA Season 2. Episode 7. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a kin. And to tell that broad that you don't like. And I'll see you later for something. Peace.